UCLA. Thank you. Um, what's it been like for you so far? I mean, I love it. Uh, right here, we have the opportunity to study and playing at the same time, and it's something that we really don't have in Europe, so I really love it. How did your recruitment, can you take us through your recruitment a little bit and coach Evo and how you knew him and him bringing you here? Yeah, I mean, Coach Evo, he's, he's been around Europe a lot, so you know a lot of kids from Europe, as Santi, the kid that got drafted and now he's playing in Memphis, and he was with him uh, in his old team. And once I got a call from him, I immediately decided to come here because I think UCLA is the best school in the country. So you already knew about it beforehand, UCLA? You knew about yeah, UCLA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, UCLA is such a big brand. I was telling my mom one funny story that in H uh, in H and M, all around the world, they're selling UCLA t-shirts and hoodies. So <laughs> it's such a big brand That's worldwide. Funny. So did you have one before? Yeah. Did you? <laughs> yeah, my mom. <laughs> My mom, like people actually buy UCLA stuff in Italy, and it's everybody knew, like, no UCLA. So, so, so now that you play for UCLA, you know, uh, back home, how much of a big deal do you hear about people, you know, so proud of you now that you're wearing UCLA yeah, jersey? It's such a big deal, especially first Italian player out here, and I mean, it's it's a big thing. There was an Italian kid uh, a couple of years ago. He was playing in Texas Tech, mm -hmm. David Moretti, okay, and it was a big deal too since they, they went far in the March Madness. And I mean, people love it. Like the Federation, they say that I did a good choice, like academically and professionally, like for basket, basketball wise. So what's, you know, what's been the biggest adjustment for you um, in, in regards to the academics and the, the, the athletics at the same time? What's been the biggest adjustment? I mean, uh, I feel like uh, it's, it's different in the sense like the way they teach us how to play there and the way they teach them how to play here is, is different. And that's why like the reason why I came here, I want to be like them. In Europe, we have like around like maybe 500 Americans which take very good amount of money and like play high level. And all the other ones, they are in the league. Mm -hmm. So that they last that this way is the best way how to do it. So. That's why I decided to come here. Do you know uh, Daniel Hackett at all, or don't yeah. know who he is? Yeah, I know Daniel. He went to USC, but he's still like a very big Italian player. And he, he texted me actually when I chose UCLA. He told me that it was a very good choice. Try something new and something that not all the Italian kids have a chance to do it. Did he give you any advice? Uh, just tell me to to like go to school, be good, be a good, be a good student play hard, practice hard, and everything will be fine. How have you thought about your role and how you're fitting in uh, basketball? I mean, I think, uh, I mean, I was the last arrived, and this team is a very good team. The past couple of years, they, they did very good, and I truly believe that each of us has to have, has to have a, a, a role in the team, and I know what's my role, so whenever the coach calling me, to go inside the game or to do something, I'm always ready to do it. And with time, maybe my role will change, but right now I know, I know what's my role. What is that? Uh, be ready whenever he call me to be ready, when maybe somebody had tra uh, fouls trouble, or when whenever they need me to go in the game, uh, I'm always ready. Now, when you were playing overseas, how much older were some of the players you were playing against? Uh, I remember actually, uh, my second year in Roseto Sharks, uh, I was 17, and there was this guy, his name is Simone Pieric, he was his last year as a professional player, he was 37 years old. Hmm. How does that uh, maybe help you prepare and, and come over to play in the U.S.? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, other guys in Europe definitely help you a lot, like some, most of them, and it's it's a plus because they've been around a lot, so they, they always talk to you, like, practice but also out of the court you know with live stuff because they are so much older than you that they've seen so much that they can easily help you. Now that you've gone through a couple months of practices of obviously nine games um, what are the biggest things that you see in your game that you need to continue to work on? I mean definitely uh, my defense I need to work a lot on my defense since I feel like I have a good size and good I'm quick enough to be a 
very good defender and I truly believe that that's what is going to let me play a lot during my whole career. Of course you have to know how to play offense but each of, each of us has to have a role, you know. So I think playing defense, get rebounds, be aggressive, run the court, make open shots, that's, that's what I have to do. Seems like you've embraced that too. I mean, you were doing some one-man press the other day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, throughout all my whole career, I, I always try to be aggressive and do my best. So I'm just trying to put in my myself into this new team. How long have you been fluent in English? I mean, <laughs> uh, in Europe, since we have a lot of Americans, uh, we we kind of have to to learn English pretty fast because practices they are in English, of course. Our English is not as fluent as, as here because it's not our first language, but then I went to play out of Italy, so I had to, to learn it. How many languages do you speak? I speak uh, Italian, English, and a little bit of Spanish. Are you teaching any of the guys on the team Italian? Uh, they they, ask, oh, they some, ask you yeah, stuff? They ask me some sentences sometimes. Who, who's, who seems to be the most curious about the Italian language on the team? Is there one person in particular who wants to, like, how do you say this, how do you say that? Uh, not really, not okay. really. It's, okay. it's more like a, a random thing. Maybe I'm okay. saying something, okay. and then we're going back and forth. And I say, I told him in Italy, he would have said this, in sure. English. It's different ways to say things, you okay. know. When you get mad at the refs, do you speak in Italian? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. How about the assistant coach? Do they um, speak Italian, Savino? I think that's an Italian name. Yeah, yeah, Coach Savino, Italian roots. And yeah, the, the assistant coach, they, they, are, they are amazing, they are amazing. They are always helping me in whatever I need. Does Coach Evo speak Italian? No. Oh, okay. You guys all good? Yeah. 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 Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah, nice Thank you.